Hello children. In today's maths class, we are going to learn abacus, short form and multiplication tables of 7 and 8. So let's start with the abacus. This is an abacus. I think you have already seen in UKG. This abacus is a counting device. Using an abacus, we can read a number or we can also show a number on the abacus. Now let's see which number we can read on this abacus. Now see here children, it has three spikes, three sticks. So it is a three digit number. It is written ones, tens and hundreds, three places. In the hundreds place you can see only one bead. That means digit in the hundreds place is one. In the tens place there is no bead. So nothing means zero. So digit in the tens place is zero. And in the ones place also there is no bead. So in the ones place also is zero. So this abacus is showing the number 100. Now let's learn how to draw an abacus and show a number on it. Now suppose we have to show 25. A two digit number. So first children, the first thing you will do is, you will make a box. Write 25 inside the box. Now there are two digits, so you will draw two spikes, two sticks. Two digit number, so two places. We will write places above the spikes. In the tens place it is two. We will draw here two beads. In the ones place it is five. We will draw here five beads. Two, three, four, five. So did you understand children? Now let us take another example of a number one zero three. 103, a 3 digit number. So to draw an abacus, as I told you, first you will make a box. Write the number inside the box. 1, 0, 3. 3 digits, so draw 3 spikes. Above 1, above 0 and above 3. Children, you will use scale to draw the spikes. Now, three digit numbers, so write three places O, T, H. In one split, in hundreds place, only one, so draw one bead. In tens place, zero, so no bead. And in ones place, three, so draw three beads. So this number is 103 shown on the abacus. Now let us see what mistakes you make. Now some children while drawing, you draw the spikes and when you are drawing the beads, three beads, one bead here, one bead here, one bead here, all the beads are flying. It should not be like this. They should be touching each other. And always remember, make a box and write the number. And then you draw the spikes. So did you understand how to draw an abacus? Now let's learn how to write in short form. 100, 5 tens, 0 ones. So we will make columns of ones, tens and hundreds. 3 digit. 1 in the hundreds place. 5 in the tens place and 0 in the ones place. So the number is 150. 2 tens, 0 ones. So only 2 digits, we will make 2 columns of ones and tens. 2 in the place of tens, 
and 0 in the place of 1's, the number is 20. 200's, 5 1's, 100's, that means 3 digit number. We will make column of 1's, 10's and 100's, 3 columns. 200's, 2 in the place of 100's, 5 in the place of 1's, no 10's is given, so 0 in the place of 10's. The number is 205. 40. 40 means 4 tenths. Make column of 1's and tenths. 40 is 4 tenths. So 4 in the place of tenths. And 6 in the place of 1's. 40 plus 6, 46. 120 plus 3. 3 digit number Make three columns. One hundred. One in the place of hundred. Twenty is two tens. Two in the place of tens. And three ones are three. Three in the place of ones. It is one hundred plus twenty plus three. What mistake you make is one hundred plus twenty plus three. You write in short form like this. 123. This is wrong. 100 plus 7. Again 100. So there should be 3 places. O, T, H. 1 in the place of 100. 7 ones are 7. 7 in the place of ones. There is no tens given here. 0 in the place of tens. It is 107. 200. Again, there should be three columns. Ones, tens and hundreds. 200. Two in the place of hundred. 30 is three tens. Three in the place of tens. There is no ones. So zero in the place of ones. 230. So did you understand how to write in short form?